Hey, what is good, 18? Hey, not today. Y'all don't see my face. I might show y'all a little bit later, but we here for this unboxing. I'll be honest with y'all, I don't know what, well, I'm hoping this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, now, initially, I was supposed to be getting the regular iPhone 12, and my dad was calling T-Mobile to figure out how much of a price difference it would be for the Pro Max versus the Pro, yeah, versus the regular Pro. They ended up canceling the entire order, so we just went ahead and ordered this one in the gold colorway. Um, like I said, I haven't opened this yet, obviously, so I don't know what's actually in here. This actually might not even be it, but I feel like it is. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it, bro. And I'm not going over all the specs and all that. Y'all can go look up. There's literally a million videos of people breaking down all the details of the iPhone and everything. Really, I just wanted to show y'all. Um, we might do a couple tests here and there. Let's... This little, look at this little old piece of styrofoam. What is this gonna do? My thing could have snapped up, my god. But either way, that thing came in kind of quick. Now we just placed this order. Uh, actually, we placed it probably about five to six days ago, and it's already here. Here, y'all look at every corner of the box. Tough. Includes the 12 Pro Max. Now you hold on. Let me get y'all right so y'all can see this. I'm about to say I'm not recording. Includes a, the 12 Pro Max USB-C to Lightning cable, power adapt, oh power adapter, and headphones sold separately. That's so foolish to me. But this is the new iPhone 12. Hold on. That's for all my ASMR, ASMR fans out there. All right, let's get that out of there. Oh, buddy. And that thing, let me let me turn this, this brightness a little. Y'all might not be able to really even see it. That thing is clean, though. I ain't getting no case for it yet or nothing, bro. I didn't. I did not know this thing was coming in today, so I might have to wait till the weekend is over to uh, to go ahead and try to get this. Of course, I'm getting calls in the background to go ahead and get this uh, activated and all that. You feel me? All right, so they got the power button here. Actually, let me go ahead and show y'all. Now they did say these sides are like t are aluminum, like brushed. Aluminum or something like that. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that. It's, a, it's something that, that 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 makes these sides shiny like this. But I believe that it was only on the the Pro models. They didn't have it on the regular 12. But as you can see, we got the power button over here on the side. I'm not sure what this is here. I'm sure I'll figure it out. But I can tell already this thing gonna be picking up fingerprints. Golly, I just opened it up. We got fingerprints all on the side, all on the back. Either way, we got the three cameras there. I believe it's a telephoto lens, um, the regular camera and something. I don't know, but I know the 12 Pro Max has some sort of stable, some extra stabilization in it um, for the camera, I believe. We can move to this side. Got the volume rockers up top. Um, I think that there, that's normally on every iPhone. Now let me show y'all. Of course my other one's upstairs. I'm, I'm actually upgrading from an Android, but I had an iPhone 7 Plus that I've been using as well. Look at that, bruh. Should I go ahead and power it up? Yes. All right. Yes, sir. Hey, this actual view here is actually pretty tough though. You feel me? I like how it's like dark back here. Got the iPhone just standing out. 
Like I said, y'all, I don't have all the specs or nothing like that. You see 5G up top. Of course, I don't think that there's 5G anywhere that, that I'm at. This is basically just an unboxing and a little startup video. And like I said, if y'all have any other questions or any other videos that y'all want me to come with regarding the iPhone 12 Pro Max, just get down there in the comments and let me know. This screen though, man, this screen is immaculate. Swipe up to open, English, US, quick start, bring your current, is that mine? Bring your current iPhone or iPad, doesn't show the option. Hold on y'all, give me a second. All right y'all, this is the 12 Pro Max we got right here. This is actually my iPhone 7 Plus. You can compare sizes. Show me the back camera. Still got the horizontal ones up there. Of course, you got all three there. Speaker grill looking disgusting. Hold on. Yeah, that speaker grill definitely needs to be clean, my guy. But y'all can see the difference here in the 7 Plus, which I think the 7 Plus is at least five years old at this point. Not 100% sure, but I wish we could get this to focus. There we go. All right. So what do I do here? Bring your current iPhone near it to sign in and set up. It's already near it though. And while we're waiting, waiting on this to reboot, um, this menu here just says quick start, bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. If your other iPhone or iPad doesn't show options for setting up this iPhone, make sure it's running iOS 11 or later and has Bluetooth turned on. You can also set up this iPhone manual. Okay. Do I have Bluetooth ears turned on? And I know I'm on iOS 11 point. There we go. So you guys see that option right there. Setting up new iPhone. Use your Apple ID to set up your iPhone. Continue. Position this image in front of. Do y'all see this, bro? This is dope. They said they had that since iPhone 7, but I've never seen one. And this one here. Hold on. That's tough. Hold your new iPhone up to the camera. Position the pattern. It. Hold on. Wow. Keep this iPhone near your new iPhone while your information is transferred. Enter the pattern. Oh, okay. I see now me, I, did, I only let it do some. I think, or I don't think I did much because I wanted some of the stuff to say separately. But okay. Let's do literally all of it. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. I don't want to activate it just yet, big dog. Is y'all taking me off of this one? No, right. Sir, we're just saying, just act like set it up. Okay. And I know I need to clean this screen for all the ones saying it. Face ID, three dimensional. Should I set that up later? Might do it now. Go ahead. All right, y'all, I'm about to set up this face ID. First position your face in the camera frame and move your head in a circle on all angles. Y'all give me a second, I'll be back after I set this up. All right, guys, face ID is now set up, which I didn't even have face ID on the 7 Plus. Just had the fingerprint. Transfer your data directly so we'll be ready your data when you finish setting up. Time to transfer about an hour and 45 minutes. But what am I transferring? Data, apps. I don't need it. No, I don't need all that. Well, can I go back to the screen? All it says is other option or download from iCloud, transfer from iPhone. or other options. And 
And there we go, guys. The new iPhone. I'm gonna have to get used to this because um, I know the newer iPhones, like from the iPhone 10 or iPhone X, whichever one you call it, I know there was different, different gestures and stuff like that that they added. That's definitely not on the iPhone 7 Plus that I've been using. Um, or Apple ID and phone number not being used for iMessage on the new iPhone. Okay. Now I'm hoping I'll be able to go back to that and set this stuff up later. Um, but yeah, man, I just wanted to give y'all a quick little video. I know there's a lot of people putting out reviews and stuff like that, but I figured I'd go ahead and let you guys see once I got mine in. I didn't even take these out, but it's really just, uh, I think it's just a sticker. Yeah, you got your Apple sticker. One little card or piece of paper. I literally, oh, this is, I think I heard this is like a Kensington lock or something. I think this is for the, for this. No, nah, it's, for, it's for this over here. I guess if you, I'm not sure what's even in there, but. Um, yeah, and then you got your head, or not your headphones, your, and you got your charging cable right there, USB-C at the end of it, so for anybody who doesn't have a, uh, a base piece light, or that's USB-C capable, probably gonna have to go out there and get another base piece, um, which I think I'm gonna be getting an anchor base piece, it's like, so I think it's like 20 to $25 on Amazon, and they say that it charges uh, pretty fast compared to the regular charger. So I'll probably be checking that out. I got to get a case for the phone, screen protector, all that. But again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you have any questions, I like they got this LED up here. Um, but if you guys have any questions, it's crazy because this... This up here that's that you guys can see blinking actually isn't blinking while I'm looking at the actual phone. That's a little interesting, but either way, hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, if you're getting the iPhone 12, let me know in the comments. Let me know what size you guys got. Like I said, this one here is the gold 12 Pro Max with I think 256 gigs. Um, but yeah, I don't really have too much else to say. Um, like I said, if you guys want to see any other videos regarding the iPhone 12, you guys just let me know down there in the comments. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed. Uh, go check your boy out on Instagram. That's underscore AT if you're not already following me. And hey man, we're on the road to 15K subscribers, 18. Appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video. All right, guys. So here we have the 12 Pro Max, the 11 Pro, the XR, and the 7 Plus. So what do you guys think size-wise? Could stack them up. As you guys see here, there's pretty noticeable difference in all of these. Of course, I can't, I don't have all these lined up perfectly, but you get the point. It's kind of crazy to see where, or not crazy to like see the progression of iPhone, but just to look at something like this, which still isn't a bad phone. This has literally held me down the 7 Plus. Um... But just to see this, this difference here, and this 6.7 inch screen, they say is the biggest screen iPhone has made. Um, I, I actually like the bigger screen size, just off first look, first list. Like it is kind of bigger than I expected, but I like it, you know? I like it.
But either way, just want to give y'all a quick side by side comparison. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions for new videos, drop them in the comments. But we're out of here, coach. It came with a box. I need a box to sit to the spot. You're trapping this froze, and I'm getting hot. I'm having all the O's looking like N I.